welcome to Simple Gifts Farmstead and I want to show you a few things that I was able to do today. So it was a snow day uh, which gives you time to do some things that you might not get around to otherwise. When there's all the things to do outside you don't feel like you can tackle some projects on the inside because there's still plenty to do outside. But today was the perfect day to work on some things that I have had on my list for quite some time. And I'm standing in the middle of our legacy library and um, this house was built sometime before 1830 and there were not libraries in 1830s house uh, but we needed a library in our family and from children's books to adult books to um, just things that teach me the things that I want to know or things that I want to hold dear in my heart I like to keep on library shelves. So we decided to put in um, these uh, and this wood we wanted to have look a whole lot like the rest of the wood in the house. I don't know whether you guys can uh, fully appreciate our heart pine floors which was one of the things that made me love this home. So part of the goal was to make the new bookshelves look like they belong with the rest of the room and uh, I call it our legacy library because yes it's a library but this is sort of our legacy area and so this is where I keep um, special things special things that um, are part of my family part of Mike's family and just things that uh, give me an opportunity to touch back to my past. So we have pictures of my grandparents and pictures of me and a favorite cousin in the curio here, my great grandmother and a number of other things, just things that are important. And sometime maybe I'll open this up and give you guys a close look on that. But for today, we're gonna to focus on the library. And again, I wanted the library to look like it belonged with the rest of the room. So we've got the little fireplace here and we've got the paneled wood wall and uh, we just wanted everything to fit together beautifully. So I showed you before the children's books that we still keep here for the grandchildren and uh, we're a homeschool family. So uh, some of the books that we keep on the shelves are ones that we either use on a regular basis or ones that we'd like to refer back to from time to time. And uh, some of the books that we have here are um, my husband's uh, law books or his accounting books, that sort of thing. Um, our favorite novels, some antique books, uh, and my favorite section is what I put down here so that I have easy access when I like to sit here in this area to read. And I want to tell you about some of the books that I feel like have had an enormous impact on me. Uh, so one of my favorites here is a Joel Salatin book, The Marvelous Pigness of Pigs. And uh, while this is not a book review, this is a book that I wish was on everybody's library shelf. And even if you don't have a library, I think it should be on your shelf. This is a book that was a lens for me that I now look at everything differently than I ever did before. And it's as much of a theology book as it is a homesteading book. So Simple Gifts Farmstead is a homestead. Um, another one of Joel Salatin's books here, Folks, This Just Ain't Normal. And again, these are books that have had an enormous impact on how I think and how we live. And his most recent book here, Polyface Micro, and this is um, sort of a guide to uh, farming on a small scale or homesteading, a way to um, take care of your family. Maybe you don't even know what homesteading is. So homesteading is something that um, it's farming, but the purpose of homesteading is to become a little more self-sufficient uh, in a sustainable sort of way so that when stores close down or your electric goes off or it snows like it did today, um, you're not in a bad place. And I just thought of something here in a future video. I would like to talk to you about my Proverbs 31 pantry which also sort of contributes to that sustainability and self-sufficiency, but it's not self-sufficiency, it's um, responsible sufficiency. And so again, these books are ones that I feel like have helped me do that and to get a mindset um, that 
kind of changes the way that we live. And so I keep my favorite magazines here and magazines are not just to look at, um, they're to inspire. And so I'll tell you a number of the magazines that I have here are ones that inspire me. So whether it is a grit magazine about raising laying hens or whether it's a Mother Earth News, a guide to self-reliance. Again, these are the things that inspire me to uh, do better and uh, you do as well as you can. And when you know better, you do better. I believe Maya Angelou is the one that we um, attribute that quote to. And so I want to be intentional, intentional about putting in what I would later like to pull out. And let me make a prediction here. We're at the beginning of 2022 and a lot of people make resolutions and some people make predictions. I make a prediction here that there is going to be a pendulum swing back to the physical paper book because there's just something special about holding it in your hand, being able to touch it and feel it. And if it's a book that I use on a regular basis, I'll pull this one back out. Um, you see, I have a pen in this book because I like to dialogue with my text. Uh, so I don't know whether you guys write in your books, but when I bought the book, I can do anything I want with the book. And uh, someone who comes after me might see what I thought was important or something that I've written into the margin. And so again, I want to put in what I want to be able to pull out when I need it. I also like the ability to have a reference here for when there's something that I can't pull out, but I know that it's there and I need to go back to it. So what is the most important thing for me to put in so that I can pull out? And so um, up here on the top shelf is a shelf of Bibles. And perhaps you have Bibles in your house that you keep up on a top shelf. And um, that's not where a Bible should stay because a Bible needs to be in a place that you can open it on a regular basis every day, preferably, and even better if it's in the morning. And again, what you put in is what you can pull out. And there's a verse in Psalm 119 that says that I have hidden your words in my heart that I might not sin against you. And uh, so whether it's knowing how to live well, how to please God, how to take care of your family, all of that is in the Bible. Um, hang right here and I'm going to go get you my Bible. Okay. I got my Bible. So I leave my Bible out on our little porch um, because that's where I read first thing in the morning and perhaps this will be my new reading place. I like to read out there because I can also see some things out the window. But again, you should have your Bible in an, ex an accessible place so that um, you can pick it up whenever you need to, when you can find what you're looking for there and uh, having it out is just having it in a place that's a good reminder that you need it. Um, so, library. I'm thrilled to have a library. I'm thrilled to have a place to put all of these books. Um, my family moved here to Simple Gifts Farmstead um, about a year and a half ago, almost exactly a year and a half ago, and uh, what a joy it was to finally unpack all of these books. Um, I don't know whether you guys love books the way that my family loves books and my husband said earlier today something along the lines of a house that has a library um, means there are heads full of knowledge or something something to that effect I don't know uh, but again the first thought that came to my mind was I could have all of these books on the shelf and they don't do me any good unless I read them because all the answers that I might need in my life could all be right here. Everything that I would need to know about farming could be right here, but if I never pulled a book off the shelf, um, it wouldn't do me any good. I know this sounds like a literacy commercial, and uh, in a former part of my life, I was an English teacher, and uh, that prepared me for some things that I do now, but it it really did give me a love of reading and if I could pass that on to you guys that would be a wonderful thing too. 
So uh, takeaway here, it's great to have a snow day so that you have an opportunity to do a project that you might not otherwise have time to get around to. Or maybe the snow day just gives you permission to do something inside that you wouldn't otherwise maybe have on your list. Um, and this was on my list, so I was thankful for the snow day to, to get it done. Um, reading is good. You can't pull out what you haven't put in. And be intentional about putting in the good things. So things that are going to make your life um, better than it already is. So whether that is whatever it is that you're interested in learning. But most importantly, put his word in your heart so that you can pull that out whenever you need to. I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you like the videos that we've been putting out, I would ask you to like and then subscribe so that you'd be notified the next time that we have a video. Um, I do have a plan to give you a tour of our 1800s home. And um, I think the next one is going to be our uh, Proverbs 31 working pantry. And that is part of a stone cellar that was part of the existing home here that we've converted. And um, I would also like to give you a tour of the kitchen and of our dining room, of the addition that's here. And so again, like the video, subscribe, but you can even share it on social media if you thought anyone else might be interested as well. We are trying to grow our channel and uh, look forward to uh, videos in the future that I have uh, things to show you and things to tell you and hopefully uh, make your life better. So again, thank you for visiting Simple Gifts Farmstead and we'll see you next time.